Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a mashup and adding some static items to an outfit, make them uh, little accessories as part of a mashup. So we're going to be adding up our frag grenade and our pulse grenade, putting them somewhere around the waist belt area right here. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to open up our outfit studio, bring in our uh, base armor here. And I've already combined both of our grenades into a single file for easy import. Save a little bit of time here. I'm going to select both shapes because I want to move both of them right now at the same time. Turn on our move gizmo. Place it up somewhere in the neighborhood of where we want them. Bring it up a little bit more. That looks pretty good. Go ahead and turn that off. Now we need to figure out what uh, bone we want to weight these against. So I'm going to go ahead and just select all of our shapes. Go to our bones tab, and you can just start cycling through them. Find something that's kind of in the area where you want. I've already done this, so I know which one I'm going to use. And that was going to be spine one skin. If I turn off the textures here, you'll see it lines up pretty well in the area of where we want to be. Go ahead and come back to our meshes. Uh, we're going to pick one of the meshes that has uh, a bone weight on that skin which I know that the first one right here does. So we'll go ahead and use that and we're going to set a reference. This is important because we're going to treat this sort of like if we're doing general animation weight copies for doing mashups or similar armors, uh, except that instead of copying all the weights, I'm sorry, we need to go back to our bones and select the bone we want. Instead of copying all the weights, we're just going to copy a single selected weight. So that's going to be the one that I just picked, which is the spine one skin. So when I go ahead and do that, uh, I'm actually going to boost up our search radius uh, quite a bit. So that way I make sure that I get weights on each shape uh, or each mesh. And it doesn't matter how many vertices get it, as long as at least one from each one gets uh, weight. And we'll go ahead and accept that. Go back to our bones. Skim right down to our spine one again, and we notice that we got weights on this one, and we got a little bit of right up here at the top. As long as we got some, that's all that matters. Uh, this is important because we have to copy the weights from an existing shape uh, in order to get the 3D translation matching up. Uh, otherwise, Outfit Studio does not do that. We'll bring our brush settings down. And I'm going to go ahead and increase our size to max and the strength to max to make a, a paint really fast here since I'm just doing one bone. We click and drag and everything turns bright red so that we know that only that one bone has an influence on this shape and all the vertices are matched up here. And we're going to go back to our meshes. Now, you're virtually done uh, unless you want to make sure that you can support uh, dismemberment, in which case we need to open up our properties for each of our added uh, statics. We'll go to our geometry tab and turn on the sub index. When we do that, the uh, Alpha Studio will automatically add segments for segment three, which is the torso body area. Since this is going to be in that area, we're perfectly fine with that. Go back to our meshes and do it for the other one. And now we're ready to export. Make sure that when you do export, you choose a NIF with a reference. If you're saving a project, then of course make sure whenever the project gets built, it builds with the reference. I'm going to go ahead and just give it a test name here. Uh, this, Since this odd, uh, mashup has cloth physics in it, I'm going to go ahead and choose to copy those. And we're good to save. So now I'm going to go put this in game and I'll see you there. Okay, so I've got the game loaded up now, and I've already got the armor added into my inventory. So if I go ahead and open it up and equip our test mesh here, we see that some of my textures are missing, uh, set up a little bit differently than what Nifscope has and uh, Outfit Studio. But we can see that the grenades are mounted right on our waist, and as I move, they move along with the waist. As I move around, it stays with it. 